Hey everyone, this is Kurt at BoatersOutlet.com. Just going to go over a tower speaker installation that I did this past weekend on a pair of Samson Sports S7 HD tower speakers. I just got some things here that you're definitely going to want as far as the drop cloth to catch all the metal shavings from your holes. You know, your masking tape drill bits. You're going to need crimpers, drill, flex hose, grommets, and things like that. And I don't have them all lined, uh, laid out here, but I'll kind of go over those as I go. So the first thing I did is I just put the clamp on real loosely on the tower to figure out where I wanted it. So you can see here it slides back and forth. Once I figured out where I wanted it, I kind of taped it off, marked it, and uh, started drilling the holes for it. And then uh, you can see here I, I drilled the joint holes and I actually used a hanger. I took three hangers and combined them together and fished them through, which seemed to work the best for me. And uh, so you can just see here how I did that. So after that you can go ahead and just start pulling through the speaker wire. I attached it to the hanger and it pulled through real easy. Uh, you can see here as it comes out how I attached it. Just kind of crimped it onto the hanger. And something that I did is you want to make sure to buy plenty of speaker wire so you can attach the two ends of the wire to one pull so you don't have to feed two wires through at the same time. So you can see as I pull it's coming through uh, both the left and the right side of the tower. So here's both wires coming out and I already installed the grommet in the tower and I definitely recommend doing that. So here I ran it through the bottom part of the tower and I made sure to, li uh, to leave enough slack of wire so when I collapse my tower um, I'm not pulling my speaker wires out and you can also see there how I installed the second grommet in there. After that I put on that flex tubing to kind of finish it off, keep it protected with, and it kind of gives it a really nice finish and uh, so that part is done. So after I drilled the last hole out of the tower I had to drill a hole in the boat uh, through the gel coat through the fiberglass about a half inch big to feed both wires down to the amplifier. Just finished it off with that flex tubing to protect the wire. So after I got the flex tubing installed on all the wire, all I had to do next was crimp the speaker wire from the clamps to my wire and stuff it through the tubing and that clamp covered up the hole and this is what they look like and this is what they sound like. When I broke your 